course, we have our <laughs> and doo bops and doo doos down here. <laughs> And you also have some the sopranos of the doo doos and the uh, altos and the tenors. And well, geez, let me find out if I can put a Hawaiian guitar in here. And so I got a Hawaiian sound. Now, here's my little teaching tidbit. On all the instruments that have the glide, you whether you whether you use your hand or you have it on your foot switch, and sometimes it can be your foot switch on the right or left can be told to do the glide. When you do an arpeggio on a Hawaiian guitar, if you have sustain piano sustain, the arpeggio going up, and when you get to the top of the arpeggio is when you bend it. So it held notes. That's where it bends. Or I can use this. And if I want to do this one finger play, Let's get this guy going here. <laughs>
country band gotta have a jug.
presets that I use, and just as a passing thing here, a lot of the instruments on the market today have to get registration discs for, for uh, different sounds. This instrument has a hundred built right into it with the push of one button. You can call up a category, theater organ, pop organ, classical organ, whatever you want, and with the touch of one button, you can get this instrument to play ten different total presets of media, so ten times a times hundred. I think that works out really nice for those people who uh, like to have versatility. You don't have to use a bunch of registration discs you have 100 built into it. So I like to do a little song that is typical of the Hammond organ sound. Uh, years ago there was a record called Shangri-La. Remember the song called Shangri-La? And I would like to do is... Uh, <laughs> Sure, why not? <laughs> One, two, 